Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are. Thank you for watching my videos. My name is DaVinci Jeremy I'm in the pipe 5x5, five five, staying alive here in Dubai. Man, oh man. Uh, yeah, well, Bitcoin has rolled over a little bit and, uh, you know, the news is saying that crypto is dead and yeah we're gonna be talking about that and whether or not crypto is dead what it really means and i think it's i think we smell bottom and i'm going to show you that in the charts the bitcoin charts uh in today's videos for the long term so yeah it's going to be interesting so make sure you watch all the way to the end because it's going to be something to see now if you're interested in trading that you can trade this at bybit.davincij15.com and earn a thirty thousand dollar trading bonus also uh femex at davincij15.com and you earn a four thousand dollar bonus and of course okx as well okay let's uh jump into the chart as I was saying, right, you know, uh, on the weekend, I, I did a weekend show um, and I, I was saying that it was going to come back and, and it bounced. It did bounce, but it did not stay, go higher than that. Once it once it failed, that's it. Uh, and came back to test the, um, the, the, the support there. That was it. It was game over. It shouldn't have retested the support. And when it did, uh, that was that. So uh, if you traded it, hopefully you had stop loss, you moved your stop loss to break even at the very least or took from profits when it took off from the four, the $16,400 level, which we were telling you to buy at on the weekend. Okay, that was an excellent trade, um, but you know, it didn't go as high as we were expecting it, but you did, you know, if you hit the, uh, the lower levels, right, you got in and uh, you, moved, uh, you moved up higher. So that was the key thing. Just gotta take profits when, or move your stops to so that uh, you're in profit or at break even, right? Because you never know what this market's going to do. Okay, so now that we've broken down, what does this mean? Does it mean that um, Ethereum, uh, I mean, sorry, Bitcoin is going to continue going lower? Probably because we've, um, we're battling at 38.2, I believe here. Yes, uh, if we go down to the hourly, it is not good. 38.2 is not coming, not breaking above the 38.2. We're still below it. So we can see this thing maybe break down to the very least the 61.8 where it, there was a clear breakout here. So, and then before we see any kind of re reversal on Bitcoin, unfortunately. Alrighty, with that said, um, before we get onto Ethereum, remember uh, mmc.davinciej15.com, we have this bot, this trading bot, which uh, does extremely well. Um, you can see here from some of the, um, the, uh, the, the this guy, obviously he did like high risk, right? Normally, you know, is, is this lower uh, risk level that you would take? You could take different types of risk with this bot and, and you could see profit within a few months, right? Uh, very easily. So definitely check that out if you're interested in a trading bot to do the trading for you. Okay, let's take a look at Ethereum. Ethereum had the exact same kind of style and failed. We've broken through this support and now it's going to become resistance. Ethereum again is pretty much the same as, um, as, uh, as Bitcoin where, you know, we are stuck just around 38.2. Um, and so uh, we haven't broken above that. So that indicates that we could break down to the 61.8. And uh, that's 11, well, so, uh, well, that's about $1,133. So uh, that's what it looks like, unfortunately. And um, you can probably see that the, there's probably an A, B equals C, D on the lower time frames, uh, I believe. Uh, yeah, right now there is a, a possible A, B equals C, D that could indicate that we are going to those levels. Yes, there you go. <laughs> so uh, it's right there. And so, yeah, it's pretty much the same thing, right? 61.8, well, 78.6, close to, closer to the 78.6. And yeah, um, that's, that's uh, the possibility that uh, Ethereum is shaping up to do. Now, with that said, uh, before we get on to um, the news and uh, all that's going on there, if you're interested in showing off your NFTs or you have an NFT project, right? You, or you know of an NFT project that you want to, uh, that wants to get more exposure, um, they can head over to nftshield.io and um, 
they can find uh, that this is a place to show off your NFTs. Also, we're going to be doing uh, adding uh, ability to show off your personal NFT collection as well on the website. So make sure you um, subscribe and sign up for that because then we will be able to notify you when we have that feature available. Okay, man, let's go on to the news. Oh, is crypto dead? Is this the end of crypto? My God, really? But the news is all like, I think it's all like this. Is this the end for the uh, end game for crypto? I mean, really? Let crypto burn? Okay. Idol crypto is the devil's workshop? What? <laughs> Will crypto survive? <laughs> oh, man. I mean, this is like horrible. And then, of course, this is like uh, saying that the, when they, they're saying that the Bitcoin price is going to 10K. Okay. Remember, I said I was going to show you something here on, 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 on Bitcoin. Remember, I told you that there's an AB equals CD that says it brings us down to 12,000, closer to uh, almost uh, at 11,000. Yes, we could possibly break lower, but let's take a look at that AB equals CD once again. Right? And, and then we'll talk about it. So take this down to here and you can see, you can see that is approximately the, the 11,500, 12,000 or $12,000 level is where this is going to most likely 11,000. Yeah, yeah, there it is right there to almost 12,000. So that's, uh, that's the estimated uh, area that it's going to. Now, an interesting thing, right? If we uh, look, this is the weekly, what's very powerful, oops, is the RSI, let's take a look at the volume profiles. The volumes are not uh, high yet, but they're, they're getting high. But what's interesting is um, we have, I believe, some divergence here on the weekly. But right there, there it is, right there. As you can see, right? We've got, we created new lows, but not as low on the RSI. Let's see if that's also on the uh, MACD. Now, it is a little bit on the MACD, not the greatest of, of um, setups here for the MACD. I would prefer that the histogram be in the negatives here, not in the positives. But it's also a, um, a uh, indication that, hey, you know what? Maybe, maybe, just maybe, we are closer to a bottom than a top. Okay, now obviously cl way closer than the, to the bottom of the top, meaning that we should turn around, turn around and head higher very, very soon, especially if we can see the RSI break above this level here. Was it minus uh, 60, minus 60 level we could, or 62? If we can break above that, um, that would mean, that would uh, confirm the um, divergence and get us going for the next bull run. That would be so sweet, so sweet, right? So I think that this is um, this is an indication that we are near a, a bottom here, and we should start looking at the you know dollar cost averaging. But you know the news is like really, 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 really scary. People are like running from crypto like crazy. You got crypto investors are cashing out over 3.5 billion in stable coins. Wow. And then this news right here, over here, right? Crypto peaked a year ago. Investors have lost more than 2 trillion since the, oh man, $2 trillion just evaporated from the crypto space. And don't worry, it's all going to come back. It's all going to be here in the next bull run. Yes. Uh, Bitcoin and crypto is not going anywhere. They can, the, the news always, like the news cycle is always like scary and pitiful and disastrous at the bottom, right? It's never a happy-go-lucky at the bottom, right? And it's always happy-go-lucky at the top, very happy, and then very scary and, um, and, and nightmarish at the bottom. So you can see that we are very, very close to a bottom, right? And now we could start looking, hunting for bottoms and looking to buy those bottoms. And we're going to be talking about that in the months to come because it will happen very shortly and you don't want to miss out. All right. Thanks for watching. And remember, Bitcoin's real. Bitcoin's here to stay and you need to be a part of it. Cheers.